I'm about to speak to one uncle and find out why he's here. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Kita khobar bala soi ni. Apna naam ta kita? Apna akhol. Akhol. Acha acha. Boys ko toh hi bote sa sar. Boys. Koi jaashi. Aashi rufroi zibo. Rufroi toh aashi. Aashi. Aashi mani aashi bosto roi zibo pray. Oh 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 roi zibo. Aar kune laka tu na hi sun apne. Khadan shi laka. Khadan shi gaw bishtat ta na force. Oh bishtat ta na force. Acha. Kun kharo ne aski ibadi hi sun. उन्होंने माला फोड़ लगा कि ए आखिर दिन दिन आगे क्या दिया लगा बुरी खाद बाई अच्छा नमाज़ फोड़ा लगा क्या इसमें आर किस लाली लम ले उन्होंने याद आई बात माने फोर्थ एस अफ्ताद आई नहीं ना किता ना माज़े में जाए माज़े मार्किन मार्क बात हो रही है मार्किन मार्क शुरू बिते आपने किता हो र किसू कृष्ण काम हो रहे हैं ना किता बिक्का जी बिक्का बिक्का ओ अच्छा किसू बिक्का बिक्का हो रहे हैं विभिन्न विभिन्न लोग आते हैं लातू लाइबा शॉपिंग होती है काम हो रही है ना अच्छा अपना सेले में आसे ना किता सेले आसे दिव्य हो रहा मैं आदो दिव्य सेले जे दिया हो रहा है वो हाले के दिया हो रहा है फले के सुन दुख कर बिशो अल्लाह हमने शोभाइरे माफ कोई दो किधर दो दो जो दान करो कम ना शोभाइरे Every day hundreds if not thousands of people frequent and visit the mazar or the shrine of Hazrat Shah Jalal rahmatullahi alayhi. Many come for many reasons. Okay, sasa balata hoka, shustata hoka. Dua roili apna lagi, amra lagi dua horba. Assalamu alaikum. We're in the west part of the shrine of Shah Jalal. We're actually outside of the main shrine area. Uh, in this area is located the famous well full of many stories. As the story goes, Shah Jalal Rahmatullahi Alayhi instructed for a water well to be made and hoped the water from it will be blessed like the blessings of Zamzam. And then he's told that he used his own stick to hit the ground and water gushed forth as if it was Zamzam. The well was later surrounded by walls and on the north side two stones were placed from where water continues to flow night and day. On the eastern side of Shah Jalal's grave stand three huge cooking pots. It is said these were donated by Mir Murad of Dhaka who was known to build the Husseini mansions of Dhaka. Even though there's no cooking done in these pots, the story goes that seven cows and seven mon of rice could be used within these pots. So we're talking about 300 kilograms of rice. Devotees and visitors can be seen to drop money into these cooking pots as a mark of charity. One of the Sultans of Bangla, Abu Muzaffar Yusuf Shah, declared in his majlis and council in 1400 that a mosque is to be built of the roundabout connecting to Hazrat Shah Jalal's grave. In 1744, during the time of Bahram Khan Fozdar, this masjid was established. Currently, it is one of the major mosques on the Sileti landscape.
Perhaps more important than the Mazar of Shah Jalal is that which is located in Gwai Para of Silet, which is the Mazar of Chashni Pir. We're just entering uh, the gate of another shrine and we're going to go up, uh, uh, up the stairs all the way to the top of the hill where lies another very important figure in the story of Silet uh, and we'll talk to you a bit more about it. It is mentioned in a story one day the maternal uncle of Sayyid Ahmed Kabir took some soil from his home and handed it to Hazrat Shah Jalal rahmatullahi alayhi, telling him to go out and search for land and soil that matches this and to settle in those lands. Upon this instruction from his uncle and spiritual guide, Shah Jalal with his companions started his journey towards India. En route, he first came to Yemen. During this period, Yemen was ruled by a tyrant king who sought to poison Shah Jalal. However, Shah Jalal's foresight and tact led to the plan's failure. After the death of the tyrant king, his son Sheikh Ali came to power. Here lies the grave of Chashni Pir, one of the companions of Shah Jalal. Rahmatullahi alayhi. He was especially known for being able to taste and test the soil of the land. And this is why he was given the name Chashni Pir. In fact, his name was Sheikh Ali. Later on, after generations, he is known better as Chashni Pir or the soil scientist. Sheikh Ali saw exceptional qualities in Shah Jalal and took him as a close friend and became a companion of Shah Jalal's mission. Shah Jalal gave a portion of soil he was carrying on his mission to Sheikh Ali. He told Sheikh Ali his task was to test the soil of everywhere they went to match the soil with the soil Shah Jalal gave to him. Sheikh Ali was required to taste and test the soil with his own tongue. Through this quality, Sheikh Ali came to be called Chashni Pir. This is another unique feature of Chashni Pir's Mazar. Is, uh, it has a large number of monkeys. Uh, at one time, there used to be so many of them around this area. At the moment, there are around 200 monkeys that live around the graveyard of Chashni Pir. The interesting thing is these monkeys actually don't go anywhere else. They've always been living here. And the people locally have come to see them as part of the area. A lot of people come and visit the graveyard and also feed the monkeys. There's also goats that end up benefiting from the food that goes to the monkeys, which is like a banana. So with the banana, the monkey is only interested in eating the inside of a banana. Whereas the goat, if you like, is interested in eating the peel of the banana. I'm not sure how many peanuts they eat a day, but there's no stopping. And the monkey is interested in the banana. So this, you can see the banana peel been eaten by the goat. And the monkey is interested so there is always a constant struggle between the monkey and the goat who's going to take the banana first. <laughs> 